With the emergence of artificial intelligence, robotics and other technological innovations, new high-tech sports are gaining international recognition. In Africa, the first ever drone soccer competition sponsored by the U.S. consulate and organized in partnership with the Global Air Drone Academy, the U.S. Drone Soccer Association, and the Lagos State Ministry of Education saw eight girl-led teams selected from over 71 applications competing in the tournament. A move co-founder of the Global Drone Academy, Eno Umo, says is a great way to excite students about STEAM. This sport, to teach students about STEM, uh, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. So these students have worked hard to build the drone, to program the drone, and now they're flying it in the competition. So we're using this to um, create you know, these new engineers, to really inspire them to look into drone technology and other STEM technologies uh, for the future. STEM education is critical and essential to, to education in Nigeria as well as the United States. Um, it is a tech economy and Nigeria has proven again and again that it has some of the world's leading technopreneurs. Uh, and we want to continue that, we want to develop that, and we especially want to encourage girls, women, to also take places in the technology industry. What we are trying to do to show the importance of STEM or STEAM, as we like to call it, because we've added A, which is of course art and design, to show how it, it, it relates to everything that we do in our, you know, on a daily basis. So showing impact of STEAM on football, showing I think showing you know what we can do with it, with its strength, its power, its, its incredible impact on learning. That's why we're here today. So, how does drone soccer work exactly? Team members score points by flying their striker drone through their opponent's goalposts, while opposing drones attempt to block them. The team also consists of pilots and engineers who made the drones and repair them during match play. Off the field, however, the student players show how much they've learned and how they intend to use their newfound knowledge. Motherboard, the exoskeleton, the propellers, the LED light, the battery, the battery odor and so many things. It also allowed me to think critically how to use this drone strategy to solve real life problems, especially in the military aspects. One of the problems in Nigeria is insurgency and insecurity. So we could actually use we could actually create a small and tiny device drone which 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 could serve as a spy to some hidden out doubt. It really gave us opportunity to come and know, know about the drone because I have never experienced flying a drone or even like hold it with my own hands. It's made me know about it and tell I can tell people that, yeah, I've flown a drone. The winning team is eligible to travel to the United States to represent Nigeria at the International Drone Soccer Tournament in 2022. The top three teams will receive $1,500 in equipment for a STEM lab at their respective schools. Shaitan Atigari, Arise News. Lagos.